We had one Kyler came by for uh, Frederick. It came in nicely. But those things are smart. He, <laughs> there's a big downfall tree. I mean, he, if he had zigged instead of zagged, <laughs> on film, then dead. But he went on the far side of the downfall, and so then Frederick turns a little because he's just going down to the lake. And we figure he's going to take a left at the lake and go up this road area. He goes down the ditch, almost into the lake, across and up into the tall grass. We couldn't hardly even see him. Because they know the stands. Better. And can I throw my stuff in there? Of course. Yeah, yesterday um, was one of the big days. The day before was um, a medium to good day, and one and today was one of the days that d didn't go as planned. Yeah. And um, you've got to have the bad to know the good. And Quite. We're looking forward to tomorrow. From a, from a production point of view, um, the guys were manage, uh, managed to get quite a lot of good interviews today, which was good. So there wasn't as much action on the stands for hunting, but that gave us a bit of downtime to be able to pick up some of the, the, the pieces of fabric that knit between everything else, the, the key hunting scenes. Definitely. So I think from a production point of view, it's, it's sort of, you know, these bits are... Yeah, we had some good light during lunch, for example. We did a lot of pictures and stuff. Yeah. So we used the sort of slow hunting day yeah. to get some of the other stuff done that we would otherwise have to do tomorrow when we hopefully have a good day yeah which kind of gets in the way a little bit of the, the hunting which is obviously the kind of the meat on the bone so we need to do lots of that and um, hopefully we've got all this stuff covered off now so had the tableau we've had the I think there were 15 boar on the tableau mm -hmm. had the, the horn blowing and I think it's time for a, a, a early night early night and uh, whiz back I think we're using the